More financial trouble for the BCS school district in Oak Harbor as voters turn down the district proposal for an income tax on election day. John Monk explains what's next. A 1% earned income tax that would have generated $1.9 million a year for the Benton Carroll Salem School District was voted down Tuesday by 314 votes. But voters did approve the district's operating levy and permanent levy. So to try to bridge the gap, the district has put an emergency 3.9 mil levy on the ballot for a special election in August. Even if approved, the levy would not generate the same amount of money as the voted down income tax. So the district has said they have crossed the budget threshold and will have to begin reducing services and possibly increasing fees. It's dollars and cents and the, the loss from the devaluation and the public utility tangible personal property is real. We have to respond to it. We don't want to be here right now doing this, um, but we've tried for two years to avoid this, but we're here at a point where we have to start making some reduction, uh, increasing fees and those type things. Superintendent Parmesan says the next school board meeting where they will more than likely announce what cuts and fee increases will be made is May 28th. Reporting from Oak Harbor, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.